Hello everyone, my name is Bacon Pancakes, and today I'm going to show you guys how you can get the Moopin64 emulator and the TAS plugin. What the TAS plugin is, is <laughs> it allows you to, um, or what it does is it allows you to do a speedrun of a game in a way that you couldn't do with like a normal controller, like, like this one right here, it's the Wii Classic controller. Um, there are two links that I'm going to put in the description. The website where you can find Moopin64 and the website for 7-Zip. I'm going to show you guys how to get that and all that stuff. Someone named Zelda Glitcher actually commented on my uh, <clears throat> Minecraft TAS video. If you don't know what that is, I'll put a link in the description for it. Or I'll put an annotation at the end of the video for you to look at it or watch it. Uh guy by the name of Zelda Glitcher, like I said, left a comment, um, I'll put it up in, on the screen right here, so, yeah, so it said, hey, can you do a tutorial on how you got Zelda, or, no, I mean, <laughs> Moopin64, um, and that's what I'm going to be doing, because of his comment, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get started, so like I said, I will put the, the, the link both links for 7-Zip and the website in the description. Here you'll see that it takes you to this website. Now the two things that you're going to click on is this right here, the Moopin64 version 8 installer and the uh, TAS plugin, input plugin, I'm sorry. First let's just click on the version 8 installer. Oh yeah, before I do this, you don't want to click any of this stuff, like any of this other stuff. You just want to, you just want to leave it alone. Now, what you do is you just click on this, and then you download it. Now, we're going to open it up. I'm just going to open the file location, just right here. It should come up as Moopin64 installer. And then if you want to find the TAS plugin, just type in TAS. It should come up right here. I know I have two of them. I'll just delete this one. There we go. Just to be safe, just extract both of these files with 7-zip, just so you know. And then we're going to open this up, and uh, so here it is, it'll, it should come up with this thing, um, just save it wherever you want, it doesn't matter, but it's going to save in this file right here. So just say extract, and then right here you should find it. Here's the stuff that is inside the folder. Um, we're just going to open it up. Now, what you do for the TAS plugin is you just open it up. You go to plugins. Now, you're just going to take this folder and drag it into your plugin folder. And there you go. That's how you get the Moopin64 emulator and the TAS emulator. Or TAS plugin. Right now, I just have it pinned right here. So we can get all these off our desktop. Just as an example, here I'll grab my Xbox 360 controller, turn it on, and we'll just open up like Zelda or something. As you can see, oh yeah, 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 before we do this, you're going to hit Control S, and right here, you sh it should be on like something else, but you're going to click TAS plugin, and then hit OK, and then click on the game that you want playing some Ocarina of Time. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. So yeah, yeah, I hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys, especially for Zelda Glitcher. Yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Tell me in the comments below. Um, like this video, rate it, and uh, yeah, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, so if you guys want me to do more tutorials and stuff like that, I'll be happy to do those for you. But yeah, other than that, thanks for watching, and be sure to watch some of my other videos that I've made. Bye! Bye!